Hello everyone. In this video we're going to talk about what is passive PoE and what is standard PoE. Well first let's talk about PoE a little. Well PoE is the technology that transmits both power and data through a single Ethernet cable. So this single Ethernet cable can power up an IP device and also provide the data exchange. Well PoE devices mostly can only transmit the data up to 100 meters. This is because of the IEA 02.3 protocol. This limits everything to 100 meters because after 100 meters the transmission is kind of meaningless due to the power redundancy. And right now since we have been improving our technology, we will only get 13 watts at remaining at our edge device. But with more improvement, we have a reminder at 26 watts with PoE Plus. And when it comes to PoE Plus, we reached 51 watts and, or even 72 watts. This is because we used all four pairs of the twisted wire in an Ethernet cable. It's like occupying it, making it at full capacity, then it will transmit more power and data. This is why I can reach up to 71 watts, 72 watts, and have a bandwidth at 1000 megabits per second. So how can a PoE benefit us? Well, the PoE that helps us because we don't need an extra power cord to power up the IP device. It saves a lot of trouble wondering if there's a power outlet near the device. And also, since we don't need to mess with an alter alternating current, it is more, much more safer. And in some ways, it is more convenient and least expensive. A PoE system usually has two important parts, a power supply equipment and a power device. And the power supply equipment is which provides the power and data and usually is divided into two groups as well, the passive PoE and the standard PoE. The past standard PoE is the passive is a device which has like a regulation which will have initial handshake. It, just imagine when it connects to an IP device, a standard PoE will check if it has the power, the voltage, the IP device needs. If yes, they can form the connection, provide the power to let it function. But if not, it will not provide the power because it doesn't want to overcharge it or even because we, I don't have enough power, so I'm not gonna give you at all, like that. But with a passive PoE, it, will, it doesn't matter what kind of IP device you are, it doesn't matter if you're, you're demanding more or I give you too much, it just directly sends the power. And for passive PoE, there are in standard PoE, there are a lot of cons and pros. So let's talk about the pros first. For stand, uh, passive PoEs, the pro is it has a more direct target for providing power. And sometimes it has specially designed voltages for specially designed devices. A standard PoE is usually designed to provide in the between 50 watt, 50, between 48 volts to 57 volts. So that's like the in interval it can provide. And for passive PoE, sometimes we have devices which need like 12, 24 volts, and that's when the passive PoE is useful. And the cons are passive PoE is a kind of dangerous because if you don't have the initial handshake, you can't, you can't guarantee that you might not make a mistake one day and you plug the wrong device into the passive PoE and it might overcharge your device and fry your entire thing. That would like make it unpreventable damage. Now let's do an experiment. I have a PoE switch. It's a standard PoE switch here. Um, pass, pause, pass, passive PoE, PoE right here is a passive PoE injector. This is a PoE checker right here. This will tell us which twisted wires are occupied when we are connected and what kind of PoE, how much power, the power voltage in the PoE. So this will help us determine if it's a passive or positive PoE. And remember that a standard PoE operates in the voltage of 48 to 57 watts. Right now I will connect our PoE checker with an ethernet cable and then connect the ethernet cable to the PoE switch. Standard PoE switch and now I'll test PoE. You guys can see that it says 
It is compliant to the IEA 02.3AT protocol, which is PoE pl plus, and then it is plus 55 watts. So this is a really standard PoE switch. And then I will connect our PoE injector here. This is our passive PoE injector. It should be operating at a voltage of 12 volts or 24 volts up around that. And once we plug it in our alternating current, you can see it says non-standard. Non-standard, meaning it is not standard PoE, passive PoE. So then it will show its, wall, its voltage shortly. You can see it's operating at 24 watts, more or less. Yeah, so this one is definitely a passive PoE device. All right, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave it at the section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.